Design Salvation, Episode 73. This is Design Salvation, your lifeline to better design with Dixie and Annie. Our mission is to share our conversation with you so we can all elevate our work and lifestyle. Welcome to The Fold. Hey, y'all. It's Dixie Stark. And Annie Lundquist. We're Design Salvation. Thanks for joining us today. Yeah, that's so nice of you to be with us today. We're, it's actually not day, it's night. Oh, my god. What gosh. is it, 4.30 and it's, it's yeah, pitch black Yeah, Pacific out. Northwest mm-hmm. Fall. I mean, it's... Oh, it's 5. It's 5. It's late. <laughs> Boy, it is late for us. I'm ready for jammies well, as I soon did, as it gets dark. I know. I'm I had hibernator. to push us back a little bit today. So I was cute. running around like a crazy woman. You were, too. A little bit. This was... I know. I was kind of glad you pushed it back because I, I... You had a lot to get done. A lot to get done. Nana's oh. not feeling well, so I'd visit her in the little hospital. Oh, She's sweet. doing better. Oh. Much better day today, so I'm happy Good. about that. And then Good. run through the appliance store with the fastest client on the... Face Planet. of the earth. I love, love her. That. Mm-hmm. She's like, I yep, I, I like that. that. I like that. I like that. That's so fantastic. She's awesome. Oh, my gosh. And then you had a tile-like meeting when I was here. Yeah, I was yeah, here. A little bit of a meeting. Yeah, a little I was bit a little tall. shorty. And then gosh. tonight I'm going to a family gathering for oh my a gosh. little... Um, and you're just going like great guns because you have a big presentation tomorrow. I have a big presentation tomorrow and Saturday. And oh, so, didn't yeah. Know about that. Who? Same Who? client for no, both days? No, oh. no. Different clients. And I'm just a little bit behind. Mm-hmm. It's, you know, first of the month, you got to do your invoicing. Yeah. And just, I'm just kind of scrambling a little bit because mm-hmm. everything's coming to a head. And there's a big push because we're about to hit the holidays. So, you yeah, know, there's no. a big push. There is a big push. Push. Even if you can't meet that as a deadline, for some reason, like everybody uses that as a milestone. Well, I think they know that once we get to Thanksgiving, all bets are off in terms of even getting oh, together, true. in terms of oh, thinking very clearly. And tr- very true. <laughs> thinking clearly, that's very true. Our <laughs> mind, my mind is already spinning. Mm. So anyways, it's, it's kind of one of those things where I'm, I'm on the big push. But I was just going to bring up a topic. I don't know if you're noticing this. So Wait, we haven't talked about our drink yet. Are oh, we, gonna, girl, we can I'm go see- out of order, but this oh. is a good one. Because it's two ingredients. Well, it's two ingredients in your sweet neighbor. So my she sweet saved the neighbor day. saved the day because this, late this afternoon she put on my stoop this beautiful bag of blood oranges. In season. In season. And Delightful. we... And we're down to the nubbin on this. We already drained our drink. So we made a blood orange screwdriver, which is basically just the blood orange on the juicer, a little bit of vodka, and some rosemary. And let me just say, you guys, I don't know if y'all saw that episode where we like you know, we're on the Instagram, and Annie blew up my hand mixer. <laughs> I blew up the hand mixer. Was I mean, smoking. like totally plugged that thing in. It Your blew mama's up, hand and it was mixer. my mama's hand mixer. Well, I want y'all to know that today, <laughs> you one upped me. I kind of did. You brought the juicer out from your mama. Uh, same color as that. Same mixer, color. That, same what color, color is cord. That? It was like a mustard. Or it's something. like mustard. Yeah, it's, it's like nineteen seventies mm-hmm. mustard, and. I was dumbfounded, but that thing was still cranking slowly, but cranking. It didn't blow up, but I, I gave it's it. On, a, it's, I almost. It's it's, it's close. It's I close, have, but I I'm just like, hey, I'm not so bad. I have my mama's mixer. And I you know, have, and you know the cute thing about things like that because we don't have too many like that. Uh-uh. But you do. I I told Dixie. I said I remember exactly where my mama was when she was doing the juice for us on the yeah. weekends. We do fresh squeezed orange juice. It's a good memory. It's a good memory. Although I have to say this blood orange is the most beautiful color in the entire world. So I would recommend this. And there were a bunch of other blood orange cocktails, just slightly more complicated with elderflower or Saint-Germain in them Mm -hmm. that looked really special. I like the Saint Germain. And some lime juice. Yeah. But you know what is nice about the blood orange? And you mentioned this when you first took your sip, is that the tartness of the blood orange is really good as an kind of an offset to the vodka, which we didn't put hardly any vodka. No, we did. It's like drinking orange juice, but you know, whatever. But it is tartar than regular orange juice. And I suppose you could put a squeeze of lime in there if if your blood oranges weren't quite as tart as ours, because ours Ours are the dark, dark ones. You had your rosemary, your fresh rosemary. That's all it needed. That's what it needed. It was delightful. Mm -mm, That was good. So that's it. That's a good one Okay, you go on. Now you were going to bring something up, and I Well, I was because I was just all excited. 
kind of curious and excited. Okay, so I sent you the text that Yvette sent me. You know, so yes. Salvation I, Yvette. It's about uh, Stubbs and Wooten. Stubbs and Wooten loafers, which yes. are so darling. And they're teaming up with Scala Andre. Mm-hmm. And um, basically what they're doing is they're they're teaming up with Alice and Scala Andre and they're honoring their traditional zebra motif, which we have seen how many million times? Million times. Now? I don't get sick of it. And the I cheetah. And the cheetah. Oh, they have the cheetah too. That's mm-hmm. right. The leaping, the leaping cheetah. Mm-hmm. Anyways, those are the cutest loafers I've ever seen. They are. I actually am quite tempted, except the price tag's a little uh, steep yeah. for me. But I just think for holidays, those are so, so darling. For house shoes, adorable. for holiday parties, yeah. And and it just got my mind to kind of go in around in circles and circles because when we were at the Seattle Design Center couple weeks ago, and we were doing the Last Call Market Week, Mm -hmm. which was such a little treat. We were noticing, and it was mentioned to us numerous times, how the fashion industry and the interiors industry were were working kind of hand in hand. Mm -hmm. I didn't think too much about it. I didn't either. I thought, I've heard that before. Yeah, I was like, that's Mm -mm. old news. We Mm -hmm. talked about that. That's, you know, it's like, well, of course. That's Mm -hmm. the way it always is. Like, you know, fashion has their thing. And then about six to 10 months later, we clue in and interiors picks up on it. And those mills are reproducing a similar motif or a similar color palette or, you know, something of the nature that's a spinoff of fashion. Well, so then I came across this article because I don't know what I was doing. I, I was researching for something else, and I went down a rabbit hole, and it was like, hmm. So mm-hmm. I wanted to bring it up. You good with that? I'm good. Go, baby. Okay. Go. I want to hear what you have to say. Yeah, well, uh, okay, so this whole article. Because I was as skeptical as you. Okay, well, the mm-hmm. whole article was based on, and this is an international uh, architecture firm that has like a blog, and they're the ones that posted it. So, again, don't know how I got down this rabbit mm-hmm. hole. But they were just talking about how because of COVID, the time of year when some of the runways would, you know, be launched and you would have these big runway shows and everybody would see what the couture houses are doing, et cetera, et cetera, that this year, because that wasn't happening in many of the houses, I don't know if all of them did or did not have any shows, but I think they were pretty kiboshed. There were a few, but yeah, no, Very nothing. few. Mm-hmm. And the way that they introduced their new lines and their new season was just had to be modified this year. Okay. The premise of this is that what they were saying is that as a result, I mean, like the internet was kind of the source for those of you that were interested in runway fashion. Mm -hmm. It was the source for finding out what was kind of happening in the industry and how because of that, people are able to access it and they're accessing it before even being able to access the actual like clothing itself. So it's more like a pre-order. It's like a pre-order, <laughs> yeah. a preview, a you preview, know. They got yeah. they had mm-hmm. accessibility to the look but not mm-hmm. not necessarily the fashion itself. And the repercussion of that furthermore is that the kind of ripple effect from that is a lot tighter. So mm-hmm. the influence of fashion and in interiors are rubbing together. Oh, so they're tight. It's they're, tightening it's so that little gap up. between them. Where it used to be that fashion led by quite a quite a mile, right. two months, exactly. or maybe a year. Even it, it could even be a year in some in some ways. Mm-hmm. But what they were saying is that now that gap is so much more narrow than what it was before because the interiors people are using the internet as well, and they're using the runway as that influence, and it's just tightened the gap. But <laughs> also, the consumer is too, and so is the design. Designer. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the designer, the consumer, and and the actual fabricators or um, manufacturers themselves are seeing this gap completely narrow. I think that that is true because I think that I'm thinking about now what's really happening in interior design and what's really happening in fashion, right? and they are. They they are in they're line. They're kind of dialed in right they now. They're dialed in uh-huh. right now more than I've like seen. Like the rubbing that shoulders. I think you're. I think that's yeah. very accurate. Actually, interesting. I remember you were talking about the direction of kind of that whole Amish thing. <laughs> yes. This was months ago. I think it was the beginning of COVID. I think and you're Andre right. Leontali, and he was on the cover of I don't know, like the New York Times magazine or Wall Street Journal yes. magazine, the Saturday one, and he was saying how it's going to be all Amish, which I I, I believe that. 
I kind of did too. And, and it hasn't been the case at all, nor is it my mindset. No, and that's <laughs> that goes back to the whole like scalamandre loafer slash the playfulness mm-hmm. that is happening in the industry I'm noticing where people are wanting to be a little more daring uh-huh. and they're wanting to do things that are definitely cheerful, playful, have a sense of humor. Yeah. Like I'm seeing that in art. I feel that I'm way seeing in that my in own art. house too. I'm totally seeing that in art where yeah. it's uh, there's just more vibrancy and more uh, like, let's say something funny and call it exactly. art. And, and that's been going on for a while, but it was a more serious statement before. It was like, and now it's, this is going to be profound. It's going to be about home and love and family. And now it's something funny. Like It's really funny and it's playful. And a lot of it is happy. Yes, and, and I was thinking the other day, actually today I was thinking, I was on eBay because I find all my good deals You're on there. You're very resourceful. Oh, I'm a eBay. sleuth. Love it. And I was thinking about my closet because I want desperately to upholster the walls in there myself, like with the staple gun and the glue gun and just go for it. Oh my God, you're so brave. Oh, okay, no, I would no. never do that in a million oh, years. I, you know yeah. what a weenie I am. I will do that with my clothes, but I won't do it with my oh, interiors. I did it in my office. I did a terrible job and nobody even knows. I'm, I'm too, you know what it is? I'm way too judgmental about interiors or what what you're critical no, I'm critical about it I think you're and so a, critical that I won't do it but then I'll do that with my jeans or I you know, know you my yeah. shoes you're wabi sabi with your clothes but I not am your very wabi yes mm. and we're the, you're the opposite a little bit I'm the opposite you like your, a little bit. you like your clothes really dialed mm. in I feel like it do times. you maybe mm. Maybe a little less so now. Anyway, I was thinking about my closet, and I thought, I just want to do something playful and fun on these walls. And then just See? Put, put cute pictures all over it. Oh, right yeah. On top pin of the them fabric up if you want to. Exactly. Use your, you know, little washi no, tape so or whatever. I'm in the same mood as I'm definitely not doing the Amish. Well, and then you were talking about— um, you are just talking about in, in general where you also felt playful with your clothes a little bit too, mm-hmm. where you're like, I'm feeling the, the the sparkle. That could be the time of the year. Yes. It could be that, you know, we have these darker days or whatever it well, is, we're but I think people take, are ready. So we're doing an event <gasps> at the beginning of the December, showing. a showing, but we're going to kind of turn it into a fun party. We are. Because we can. Because <laughs> we can. And why not? It's that And time it's of limited. Year. I mean, everything about's limited. We're not yeah, these really small, throwing a big party. No, because we can't. No. Um, although we'd love to. We would love to. That so, sounds but it's, divine. It's a showing for Fortuny. And we're going to wear a little Fortuny because why yeah. not? Well, and I was just, uh, was I telling you that I, I well, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm already getting mine in the works. I've already got mine in I'm the works to be made. I'm behind as usual. Mm-hmm, but I'm I'll just I'll be saying. last minute. I'll probably be stitch witching mine. <laughs> oh, my gosh. If you do that, I cannot even imagine. That, that would make me so nervous. I'd be com- uncomfortable the whole night. But, you know, I was just saying, I would love to have like a Jim Thompson blouse. Yeah, you did say that the other day. Like, because you can't a find the silk, silk blouse you want. Mm-mm. So why don't we just go buy some Jim Thompson silk and have a Taylor, whip it out. Yeah. Or some little Mao jacket. Yeah, little Mao jacket would be gorgeous. It would be fantastic. Yeah. yeah, so I'm just kind of seeing that. And then you were talking about Michelle's party, where she oh, had a party thank too. You. Yeah. So I was telling Dixie, I was on IG, and Michelle Nussbaumer, who's so flamboyant and wonderful, and so she was fun. just in the Kip Space show house in Dallas. Yes. She did a great room. She did a great job. So Lulu went to it. Oh. Mm-hmm. that was. She may have to tell us about that yeah. over the holiday. We may have to ask her about that specifically. That was the one room that she videoed for me and said, nice. guess who? And, and you're like, of course. Oh, yeah. I know who that is. Thanks, babe. But, um, anyway, so she had a birthday party. She didn't. She was happy thrown, birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. It was thrown for her by someone. And it was a small group. It was maybe eight women. Sure. But I noticed, and Michelle's always super flamboyant. Of Wears her textiles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just does it up. But I've also seen her in black. Mm -hmm. This was not the day for black. She had on. Oh, it was a happy party. The biggest mix of textiles looked fantastic. And a lot of her fellow sister party goers were more flamboyant and colorful than than I've seen. Now, granted, they're in Dallas. Uh, That helps, (laughs) I was about to say. Because in Seattle. (laughs) Put it in context. You'd have to put on the invitation 
dress colorfully for anyone to do it. <laughs> we should probably tell people to do that for the Fortuny person. We should for the Fortuny. Now, Biscuit oh, is going can't. to wear a Fortuny collar. Oh, my gosh. He's just going to be all dolled up. He's going to be dolled up. So There's going to be some really, really amazing stuff. We'll document that. But I, I don't know. I just wanted to talk about it because, you know, Yvette sends me that link. Yeah, then the shoes. I mm-hmm. find this article, and I'm thinking about my mood. You talked about mm-hmm. your mood a couple of weeks ago, and I'm like, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. I'm the design planets it. are aligned. I think okay, so. so I want to just cover one little Christmas thing. Christmas? Um, yes. Uh, Hello. Oh, no, 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 yeah. no. I'm not ready. Mm. You don't have to be ready, okay. but I can't speak to this at all. I, don't, I can't even <laughs> think about, oh my gosh, I can't Honey, think about this. Let me just tell you something. So I was at Red Ticking today, and Pam said, she got all her Pammy. Christmas stuff in, and Pammy said, is it too early to put it out? I said, and According no. According to the rest of the retailers, no. No, well, no, we need it earlier. We year. do. We need some happy. And because Thanksgiving falls towards the end of November, we have a very short window before you got to get that holiday going. We got to get it going. Christmas and holiday, and we, I think it's really great that we have, I mean, Fortuny says Christmas. Of course. So we have it, that's the first week of mm-hmm. December. And I think it's super wise to plan a little get together, y'all, that first get going. week. Because you'll get your house just looking great. And it forces you to. It does force you to. And I also was thinking about how little I spend at Christmas. I'm not talking gifts. That goes up and down every, I don't know. But on terms of decor. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't um, I do not do that so much. I know. you are become very minimalist, which is which is great. And you, your house that you a put tree A tree with lights. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What? yeah. Some pine cones from outside. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. A couple of birch branches that have fallen down, which I've already picked up three mm-hmm. for Christmas. So I'm on it. Hey, I'm you on, are it. on it. Look on my you. dog walks. No, now this is this was my point, which is you don't have to spend a lot. Go outside and forage. Oh, good. I think that's the best way to do Christmas. It's and a lot too. of the Christmas that I have gotten over the years, and I haven't bought Christmas in years and years, was is some things like that pine mm-hmm. cones that I can reuse, mm-hmm. or maybe just add a few to, or just going and getting the greenery and. Oh yeah, you know there's just and just candles Easy everywhere. And, I mean, candles. I don't, I don't, Lots of candles. Like, I don't. You don't need a new, newly themed tree. No. Although we might do a Fortuny tree. Oh, I think we should. But what did Pam have to say? Or did Pam no, say she something said people about? Are she really said wanting it. They're really wanting they it. Are you know, wanting I, it. I'm ready for the kind of winter scented candles. The one that smell a little smoky or a little pine or yeah. birch smelling. I kind of like those. I'm ready for them. I bought one today from her. Oh, you Came did? in. It's a great hostess gift. I mean, it's a uh, big yeah, hostess yeah. gift, but it's a big, big candle, and it's in it's in a wood like bois. I don't know if it's faux bois or if it's real wood, actually. Maybe it is. But it has a really good light winter scent. Not like a heavy, heavy. I love that. I can do kind of. I'm gonna. I'll show it to you before Mm -hmm. you go. Yeah, I'll show it. You you. know what I've noticed about containers? Let's. uh, This is such a sidebar. I've noticed that I really like to see the candle light, so I'm not a fan of the containers that you can't see through. I totally agree. I think a candle should glow. No, because a candle should glow. Okay. It's, it's the same reason why we like our cocktail glasses yes, to not be clear. Yeah. You want to see that. You want to see. I, I completely agree. I have just noticed that I've had a couple of containers that are like solid black or solid white or solid they do whatever. And Once they, they burn do, down a little bit. They do not make me happy. But I will say, I think it's kind of okay for me with a scented candle because I usually just have the one burning. Very but when true. I do the Very other true. candles, you want them, yeah. all of those. Have, yeah. have to see the glow. See the, the glow. glow. The glow. It's all so about important. that. The seasonal so important. glow. Here we go, guys. That's how we make our moods. And oh, the best little party. I want y'all to invite three or four. Here she goes. People. Here she goes again. She's telling everybody have a party. Uh huh. Here she so goes. Bossy. Yeah, no, you just are really good about just kind of nudging everybody. Have Let's these parties. Nudge. I want because my neighbor Amy just made the best tomato soup, and we're going <gasps> to post the recipe. It's actually a Nordstrom Cafe recipe. Oh yeah, it's and that so is some good, good soup. Do that with some grilled cheese, and then do our little cocktail and slam dunk. dunk. Two slam ingredient dunk. cocktail. No, she's a really good cook, though. I mean, that's a lot to kind of like. 
I don't know. That's a lot to I have bought live up canned to. tomato soup, put a, a beautiful glob of Greek yogurt on there and some chives chopped up and called it a day, and nobody knows the difference. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. But just getting together. I mean, we talked about Thanksgiving. We talked about last week just getting your gear and getting ready yeah. and getting everything that you need. This kind of builds on that a it little does, bit. Honey, I see? have a question for you, though. Did Pam have anything in particular that you got to see that was kind of like a new thing this Christmas that you oh. noticed? So there were two things, and I actually did for the first time buy something oh, new for Oh, you Christmas. have to tell me. So You're holding out. I know. And the reason I bought it is pine cones. <gasps> but it's a pine cone wreath in a way I hadn't seen it before and a different type of pine cone. And I know I can keep it for years. Oh. So I think it's a good investment. I love that. And I then the one that. I love those thing, sugar cones, those big honker. I love those. This is very different. It's one of those streamlined, skinny little missile oh my pine goodness. cones. I don't even know what it's called, but I'll show you. You're going to have to post I it. Will. I will. I want to see it. It's fabulous. And then the other thing I got was, um, you know how they do those those paper wedding bell ornaments? Yes, yes, are, yes. You know, it's garlands. all the cut paper. Yes, paper. yes, yes. Well, I got a white... Harder stock. It's not t- like um, tissue paper, but it's a Christmas tree that unfolds. So I don't oh, know what I'm going to do with it, that? but something great. I'm going to come up well, with something Well, you know what's clever. interesting is that um, I would say probably four or five years ago, it was that stencil cutting where you would they would cut them like snowflakes. Mm-hmm. That became a really big um, art form. And I noticed a lot when we were in New York, a lot of the windows had mm-hmm. that as a part of their backdrop or what have you for, you know, the mannequins and what have you in the window. And I I thought it was absolutely lovely. And then I noticed the artists were building off of it. So yes. this is kind of a play off of that. You know, when you were little, you'd fold the paper in half and mm-hmm. then you'd cut it. Yeah. Nobody can see me like moving my hands right now. But you cut it. <laughs> She's and talking with her hands, talking with my hands. I'm going to knock everything over, I'm sure. But you cut it and then you would open it yeah. back up. Is that kind of the way it is? Yeah. Does it mm-hmm. fold down mm-hmm. onto itself? Mm-hmm. It does. That's just like the old, it's old, old craft fashion. art. And the other thing I love that she got in arts. in big numbers, and uh, they used to carry them. Maybe they still do at Ikea even because that's a Swedish company, it is. right? So she has those the little wood twig ornaments that are very so Norwegian, sweet. Swedish. And I love those. Again, can be used year after year. And They have an au naturel. They have an au naturel feel, mm-hmm. and you can mix them in with things. Works and, great in the Pacific Northwest, but pretty much anywhere. Anywhere. And I love, too, I bring out every year my, my strung little uh, acorns and things like that really last. Yeah, they do last so, for a long time. And you know timeless. what I just recently, um, speaking of paper, not that we were going to talk about paper today, but you just made me think about this. I don't think we knew what with, we were going to talk about today. Clearly, I, I just didn't know. But um, the garland just kind of got me thinking mm-hmm. about this. I most recently purchased a um, lovely garland that was just made, a really simple garland out of colored paper that came from Curtis Steiner's store oh, oh, up in Ballard. His, you know, he's, so, his store is so charming and unique. Yes, it is. And, you know, he's he's closed his store down and, um, you know, it's oh, just been yeah. one of those mm-hmm. kind of like losses, another loss that mm-hmm. we've had in Seattle. But it's, it's like a garland. And you just gave me the idea as we're sitting here right now, I need to use that for the holidays. Yes, you do. Because it's really precious and I it's bet. something that's just like a little treasure. He's such an artist. And, and such you a can creative. make it bigger. You can just put some ribbon, pretty course, ribbon on it. On just, the ends. Yeah. That's a fabulous idea. And then extend it even longer. But I just think that it's kind of fun that we get to talk about this now, even though I didn't want to. I know you didn't. You were I was resistant. very resistant to that. Kind of well, you bratty. Should, you were kind of bratty, Okay, honestly. I was a brat. I'm sorry. Okay. Confession. Well, I, you threw me a curveball. Well, I think that because you have Everybody to stay up all way. night and you have two presentations coming, Christmas is about the last thing. I do it understand is. that, but... I like to give this you a hard fun. time. Yeah. This is fun. It is going to be fun. And I get it's to go to Red Tiki next week and Christmas set up even Oh, more. so you're going to do all of the I'm going to just help her swirl. Floor. As yeah, I you do, yeah, you do the swirl and set up the new. We'll do our windows. And do the windows and do all the cute stuff. So I'll be so really fun. Christmassy. We might have to talk about oh. it. I'll try not to talk well, about come, it next week. If you come back with another sweater like that, I'd sure be happy. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put you on that. You're going to have to give me one. Talk about the sweater. <laughs> 
Okay, so I, 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 it's cashmere, but it's short. And so I said to, Pammy showed it to me and I said, no, 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 no I'm not going to wear short. But it's kind of like a little shawl. But the thing that I love is that it has short, I have to have one. short, but long sleeves, like elbow I have to have one. length. Yeah, you do. This is so you. I know. I know. I hope you show you up in it more. and it's so much. I love I this. And it's very lightweight, which Be those of us gift. with hot flashes know, I can't wear much of my cashmere anymore because it's too heavy. I wear it anyway. Ooh. Just wear it and just sweat. Sweat right there. Just well. don't care. This just, is just. Don't I have this over. But that one's adorable. Shirt and it's, it's adorable. Like perfect. I'm not too hot. Yeah. It's fabulous. Well, we may have to post that too. Okay. We well, we got to see. We have a lot to post all of a sudden. Well, anyways, it was fun to just kind of go back and forth with you, dish a little bit, and talk about this and that. And we'll be talking to you next week about who knows what, but well, we'll be happy some to more talk to intense- you. Content, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Who mm-hmm. knows? We're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, design.salvation. It'll just pop up if you put in design salvation. And you can link to the uh, podcast there too. Yes, in, in the bio. The, in the bio, you can always link to the podcast. You can also find us on designsalvation.com on the web. Mm-hmm. And we love all of our salvation eyes. Everybody guys. listening to us. It keeps us going. Somebody posted the other day on Instagram and said, thanks for all the lightness and love. And I just felt so good because there's some... Some darkness some... going on, <laughs> even literally. It is dark. It's pitch dark, dark outside, And people. Instagram is a minefield. Lordy, it and, is. Yeah. So, yeah, so hope yeah, you all we, are doing well. We, we like it upbeat. We do. I'm sorry. That's the way we roll. We do. All right. We'll talk That's to you next gig. week. Ciao for now. Ciao for now. Hey, y'all. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. You can also find us at designsalvation.com, where we'll have the past podcasts listed as well as show notes. Hope to see you there. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. We're really not prepared today. Nope, but that's okay because we've got lots to talk about. I'm no sure matter we always what. do. We're the big okay. laugh mouse. Okay, here we go. Yeah.